So in this video, we're just going to talk about the overview of the sculpting, overview of the sculpting tools, uh, the interface, and so on. So first, if you want to get into the sculpting, I really recommend that you get a, a tablet, a drawing tablet. It's better than, than sculpting with a mouse. With a mouse, it's impossible. So the first thing that you're going to do is just going to go to Edit, Preferences, and make sure that in the input, Emulate three button mouse is checked. Okay, one is down. This is done. You can just navigate with Alt, North it, Control Alt and drag up and up and down, zoom in and zoom out, and Control Shift. That's just to pan around. Now you want to get into sculpting. There's two ways to do that. The first one is go to File, New, and go to Sculpting, and that's gonna a new brand new file to sculpt. Well, I recommend when you're sculpting characters that always make sure that your symmetry in X is on. So press it on and now you can start sculpting right there. Right here you have all your brushes, your brushes settings that you can access as well. So for example, you can uh, get the radius, the, the strength, but you can change those ones as well, you know, with the brackets up and down. You can just change the size to it as well. So that's a good thing. If you expand this as well, you're going to find that you can have all the names here. So you can just go and check like a, which brush is going to do whatever action. But I'm going to explain that later on. If you decrease like that, you're going to see that you're going to have all your brushes right here with you guys. The other way to start sculpting is like this way here. I'm going to delete the camera. I'm going to delete the light. And now I have my default cube. I'm going to select my default cube. So with my default cube, I can just go to sculpting mode. And now that's going to show me all scene sculpting mode. So I can just you know, it shows me right there. So, or I can just go here in the sculpting tab as well. You know, sculpt mode, sculpt tab. If I try to sculpt this, it's not going to make much difference because it doesn't have really doesn't have no geometry. So, if I have go to my modifiers, and if you guys have used ZBrush before, this is kind of like a subdivision uh, geometry, but it's multi-resolution. With this multi-resolution, it's kind of like having like a, that a subdivide feature in, in ZBrush. If you're coming from ZBrush, if you're new to this, just use this when you want to uh, subdivide your geometry. So I'm going to subdivide a couple of times and look. And this is going to give me like a way more resolution. And now I can just like a sculpt much better. This is super, super low. So I can subdivide a couple of times and look. Now I can have like a really nice and this is kind of like this is pretty much the same uh, in Zbrush, like um, the subdivide as well. So it's a really good good one to know if you want to start sculpting from that cube. I don't recommend to sculpt from that cube. I recommend that you guys instead of that, let's go back here and uh, instead of doing that, just go to layout. Let's add. Don't, don't do that. Multi res we can add here a subdivision surface we can subdivide this cube and let's subdivide it like uh, probably like, like a bunch of times maybe let's see two three four times i'm gonna apply this so let's apply it and then if you go to sculpting mode look you have a better thing there now in this case it's easier to apply the multi resolution so subdivide one two and look how nice you can get your brushes there or your strokes in this one. Just remember working in characters, always always make sure that you have the X symmetry right there. So X symmetry, then you can multi res and you can do the draws of your characters. Like for example, like when, when you're drawing here, I'm gonna get more into detail when we reach the the brush setting sections or what every single brush does. But just so you know, if you hold control 
and you and you would draw on your um, a model you're kind of like uh, doing the negative action so you're carving out instead of just not holding anything just your pen or and you're just kind of like uh, adding up to it so that's a big difference right there between the two of them another way to sculpt with the default cube is to go let's go to sculpt mode but right now we'll have enough enough um, faces here with geometry or topology to start adding our sculpts like look like nothing is added because there's not much so let's go here my viewport overlays let's go to geometry so we can see the lines here and what's going on in there so it's a dino topo if you click on the dino topo let's activate the dino topo okay and every time that i'm gonna do a stroke here you're gonna see that it's adding geometry to it which is pretty cool so this is kind of like a dyna mesh or like a no no dyna mesh sorry like a sculpting pro a sculptress pro like a, if you're coming from zbrush so look so that's another option that you can you guys can use when you're sculpting things like that as well so you're kind of like sculpting adding some stuff just flatten this out if you're doing kind of like some rocks or things in this sense so this is pretty pretty a cool 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 way to do it as well so that's pretty much you have your brushes if you want to smooth things out you can just move it like that with holding the shift key just hold the shift key and smooth right there another thing that you have to to know it's like uh, let's say if you have like different objects and you're sculpting and you want to switch between different objects let's turn on the dyna top here okay so you are sculpting let's say sorry about this one it's the second one so let's dyna top here and start sculpting right there and i want to change to the to my to this one so you just you see this is kind of like an icon of sculpting so let's change it to that and apply the dyna top as well okay and look you can switch so let's say i have the other one as well and i think this one apply the dyna topo and now you can scope in this so that's kind of like a one way that you can just switch between uh, kind of like tools or objects that you want to to sculpt on